Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me, your friend Sonal, and today we're going to be making this modern art painting in this video. So it is my first time trying and painting with oil paints and if it is your first time too, then I would recommend you all to go with the basics video first and then move on to the painting. But if you want to straight go on to the painting and want to try your first painting on a sheet of paper first rather than using a canvas, then I would recommend you all to coat it with acrylic base or primer first and it will prevent the oil from leaking out of the paint. So now let's talk about the oils that I've been used for making this video. So for thinning of the paints or making them more glossy or shiny, I've used linseed oil by Camelton. And for washing the brushes, I've used turpentine oil. So it's not important to use turpentine oil to wash the brushes. You can also use dish soap and water for washing it but you know turpentine oil is handy like that is just kept on the side of your table and you just have to wash it like you do with water with the watercolors and if you are going with the dish soap method then you have to get up all the time wash the brushes and then dry it out and then do the painting and i think that is a long method so that's why turpentine oil is handy so now let's talk about the colors that I've used for making this video. I've used Camel Sudden Oil Paints 12 shades, but see guys, if you have not bought the colors yet and if you're going to buy, then I would definitely recommend you all to go with the artist ones rather than the students because there is not a lot of difference in the price i think that's one dollar like or 100 rupees you can say that's not that much difference in that and uh, you know the pigmentation of both the colors have a really great and big difference you can clearly see them with your eyes artists ones are a lot more pigmented and really work smoothly whereas the students were are definitely for students but since I bought the students one, I have to finish this first, so that's why I made this painting with the students. But you should definitely go with the artist ones. Now let's talk about the palette on which you will mix the colors. So oil paints really get off easily just with some oil. You know, you just have to use some turpentine oil and then it will get off easily. And I've used a metal steel flake, you can say, but you can also use some pretty color palettes that come for oil paints. But you can literally take anything that you find good for being your palette. Now, oil paints take some time to dry out, guys. It will take some time. Like, acrylics really get dried up real easy, like they will get dried in half an hour or something. And whereas oil paints take 3 days or even 5 to 6 days depending on the climatic conditions where you are staying right now. So when my painting was completed, I've used fixative spray for fixing the oil paints. And when it was completely dried, I've used artist varnish for the painting to give it a shine so now you can enjoy the video
video and I hope that you all have enjoyed watching. And if you all did, then make sure to turn the great thumbs up button blue, subscribe to my channel, put the notification bell on so that you may not miss any updates from my YouTube channel. Make sure to share this video with your friends and relatives. And if you have any recommendations for my new videos, queries, requests, then make sure to drop them in the comment section down below and you can also follow me on my Instagram page which is in the description box. Make sure to check it out. So thank you so much for watching guys. Love you. Bye bye. See you all in the next video. Take care.